Halo Megablocks has always been a huge part of my life, and since 2011, I have collected every single figure. So this is a long overdue video where I run down my top 10 favorite figures that they've ever released. And I wanna make it clear to begin with, this is Halo Mega Blocks. I'm gonna save new articulation for a separate video, but this is my top 10 old articulation figures. And it was a very difficult list to make, but I think I came to some pretty good conclusions. First of all, if you're a new or old supporter of my channel, please do make sure to turn that bell on, really helps me out a lot. And today, I'm gonna switch over to my macro lens because I wanna get up close and personal with these figures. Here we go. I've blurred all the figures because I want you to pause this video and take part in my game. List in the comments your top 10 figures in ascending order. Maybe you'll have matched with some of mine, maybe not. And I'd love to discuss it in the comments if you did. And I'm gonna start off with number one. Here we go to start off the list. And this is kind of a funny thing because this is number 10. So technically it's my least favorite, but it's still one of the best figures ever made. Coming in at number 10 is the Spartan Recon from Halo 3. This figure came with the UNSC Elephant, which was a beast of a set, 1,273 pieces. This was an amazing collectible figure and still is one of the most valuable original Halo Megablocks figures. The set was released to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Halo. Came with a load of Marines and arguably was the first ever signature series set. Technically it wasn't, but a lot of people would say it was. I mean, it was just so much bigger than any other set they'd released. So I kind of feel like it was a signature set and this recon just gave it that signature feel. It was one of the first black figures we ever had and this gold and silver metallic just perfectly reflects that jet black color. Spartan recon also holding a great place in my heart from Halo 3. It was just so unobtainable. There was so much mystery behind it, and that's what pitches this one in at number 10 on this list. Just look at the way the silver just runs through all of the armor. They created this one with a very clear image in mind, and I love it. Let's move on to number nine on the list. We've got an Elite, and this one was just such an epic mold. This was from Halo Reach, and it's the Elite General. I mean, what else can you say about this figure? Look at those shoulders. I mean, he is a beefcake. <laughs> He's just such an epic elite. And up until this point, we really hadn't had that many elite molds and they were pretty simple. The flight elite was just very basic, but this one, just massive shoulders, a massive headpiece. It was an exceptional figure. It came in the Seraph alongside all the interchangeable pieces for the Elite Ultra. It was 566 pieces that set. And wow, just another epic vehicle. I think people really want to see remade in the future. There's a couple more elites on my list. This didn't make it to the top because it does have very basic paint apps, but I just had to give my Elite General a mention. All right, rolling on to number eight on this list. And I've got a couple of exclusives on my top 10. And this figure was trending before Clash on the Ring was even conceptualized. This is the original Halo Combat Evolved Elite from Halo Fest 2011. And this had a really great story behind it. The Halo Fest figures came in a set of four, an Elite, Marine, Spartan, and the ultra rare AC Jackal. But this guy, I don't know, he really stood out to me. I love the mix of dark and light blues on his skin. I love these yellow highlights. We really hadn't got that kind of paint app before on a Mega Bloks figure. And he really reminded me of Halo Combat Evolved, which was the anniversary they were celebrating. So this guy really earned his place on the list. I absolutely love him. I would mention all of the other Halo Fest figures, but I've got so many others I wanna go through on this list. Take your seat on the High Council Elite. It's time for figure number four, but number seven in the list. This is a Marine, and maybe you can tell from the colors of this blurred image. It's one of my favorite Marines ever made, certainly my favorite old articulation Marine, and you can definitely see why when you look at all those paint apps. The Halo Reach Marine, it barely came in any sets, but this guy, I just love that green, piece. The amount of paint apps are ridiculous on this figure. They hadn't got super articulations, so it was really difficult to print on like separate pieces, but they really worked around that issue. I think I can count like maybe six colors on this guy and all the way around, he did come with a matching backpack that I don't have with me right now. Even his shoes matching his helmet and he's got a really cool wash on him. The whole thing is just a very high level of detail. Well done, Marine. You made it into the list. I thought it wouldn't be a 
fair list if I didn't mention at least one gummy figure. We've had so many chase figures in the Mega Bloks line, but this one stood out to me as by far the coolest. I think you can probably tell what it is already from that massive staff. This is the Elite Honor Guard from Halo Bravo series. It was one of the first blind bag series to actually have new articulation, but this one is old and wow, just look at this guy. I know gummies are like, well, maybe you shouldn't include them in the list because they don't have any paint apps, but they're not meant to. And this guy, the camera can barely focus on him because he's so translucent. This staff is just epic. I have never really obtained multiple chase figures. I just kind of leave it at one. But this guy, I have four of, I believe. He's just an outstanding figure. The Honor Guard is epic and Mega Constructs, they really need to release more Honor Guards, especially Brute Honor Guards with all this removable helmet business. The Honor Guard, we, we got the original red Honor Guard and then a blue exclusive from maybe Target. Then we got this one. And really we've only had the new articulation Honor Guard once with a Halo Heroes line, but it's all, it's like gold dust now, even I don't have it. So this guy, I definitely wanted to add him to the top 10 list, and he's the only gummy, but he definitely deserved his place there. Now, anybody that supported my channel for a while has probably heard me say what my favorite ever set is, so maybe if I set this red one down and say it's from Halo 3, you'll know which one it is automatically. This is from, I think, the greatest Halo Mega Block set ever made, which was the UNSC Hornet Attack, and this is the Red Hayabusa. Let me just, let, let me just let that sink in for a second. Just look at this figure. Also, Mega Constructs, where is my new articulation Hayabusa? I've been waiting patiently, but it's about time. This guy, I mean, Mega Bloks had a lot of experience with paint apps by now, and they definitely could apply them in a lot of different ways, but one way they could do it that was just so badass was these shoulders. How you can have this white moving through all three sections of the shoulder piece, and the white perfectly matches the top of his helmet, but it's definitely got a nice black wash on it. This gold visor is epic. The whole thing, it's so cool. I was also gonna include the blue Hayabusa on this list, but I thought only one Hayabusa, and this one just took the cake. That whole set, the UNSC Hornet Attack, the promotional pictures are outrageous. The Red Shield Jackal and the Red Pilot that come with it. This definitely needed to make it into the list. I'll give him a beautiful carbine. Congratulations, Hayabusa. Join the ranks of my top 10 figures. All right, now I promised there wasn't gonna be any more gummy figures, and that's kind of true. This one is is a half gummy, so it's like, I'm half cheating. This one came with Alpha Series, and it was the ultra rare. If you already know what it is, it's the Brute Stalker. This guy, I just love the concept. I mean, I've always said my favorite AC figures are plausible ones, like you should only really give AC figures to ones that could actually use an active camo unit in the game, and this Stalker. The AC is perfect on this, because he's just clicked his AC unit, it's transferring across his body, but it's not finished yet. And that's what makes it so epic, because you can give him an AC weapon, and then on the other side, give him a non-AC weapon, because the AC hasn't transitioned there yet. They also did this with the Jackal, where you could collect half one side, half the other. I thought that was amazing, but this one just runs through perfectly. And they've got a fully transparent body, but they've painted over the top of it, so you can really see all the way through. The camera plays tricks on you, and ah, I just love this Brute Stalker. I collected an outrageous amount of these when it first came out. We're moving down the list now, boys. We've only got three left and this one came out during Halo 4 It was the first of its mold and it's always a fan favorite I know a lot of people will agree with me on this one being in the list. We've got the Brute Chieftain. This came with the Brute Chieftain charge set and just showcased an outrageous amount of cool molding. I love this guard that locks into his arm. I love how completely over the top his helmet is. Since Halo 3 ODST, they showcased them in such a menacing way in that game. And I've never actually got hold of the NMPD Pelican. If I did, maybe that Brute Chieftain would replace this one as my top. But I mean, maybe not. This one just holds such a special place in my heart. It's been with me since pretty much my collecting journey began with Halo Blocks Fest. I used to sell so many of these at the event, and I've got a very special gravity hammer. There you go, bud. You earned it. You're an epic figure. Oh, no. Apparently, you didn't earn it. You're dropping it. you got to respect what you're given, Brute Chieftain. Maybe I'll take you off the list next time. We're counting down now. We've only got two left. Coming in at number two is a very special figure, both to me and to Mega Blocks themselves. When the 10th anniversary blind bags recently came out, the AC figure was Spartan Cat, and Kevin MCX explained this because Spartan Cat was the 
very first figure to ever be named in the Halo Mega Bloks line. We'd had some figures that resembled characters in Halo before, but they'd never been explicitly named as the figure. Maybe because Mega Bloks didn't have the applications to make them so detailed at that point, but this was the very first official named Mega Bloks figure. It came in the Falcon with landing pad, 503 pieces of epic building. The figure just rounded off the set alongside a pilot, and this was a great first impression of like what Mega Bloks could do when they really detailed their figures. I love the silver visor matching the arms, tiny markings on her chest. This is a perfect figure to me. And that pretty much brings us to the end of our list. We're on number 10. I wonder if you guys guessed correctly. You probably didn't, especially because this is not one figure but two. I know I'm cheating. The final figure, number one, my top figures, are kind of two because I couldn't really decide. Now, you may have noticed in this list there are no ODSTs, which is crazy. I had a lot of ODSTs for this top 10 and I had to remove them all because I couldn't just have a, a top 10 ODST video, or maybe that's a separate video. But this one, I couldn't decide between two ODSTs, so I chose them both. Red and blue, here we go. The last two, are these ODSTs. And I know this is funny because they both come from different sets. The blue ODST came from an armory pack and then the red ODST from a versus pack that was an exclusive at certain events. You could get four different figures, red versus blue. Although they come from different origins, they perfectly fit together. I'm so in love with these guys and they've always been pride of place of my collection. I've always had them side by side and I'm so happy that they became the top of my top 10 list. They have matching light blue visors and silver detailings, but other than that, they are color swaps of each other. I love these skin tones on their hands. They make them feel very real and they're very over the top light blues and light reds. They got great washes on them, awesome detailing running all the way through. It gets darker reds around the armor. These two are wonderful and they are my top Halo Mega Bloks figures ever made. I just, I really think they deserve that top spot. Do you agree with me or would you have picked something else? I would love to know in the comments down below. And I just couldn't finish this video without some honorable ODST mentions because I just don't feel like you can have enough ODSTs. My other ODSTs that were going to make it into this list are these two matching shark fin ODSTs. I think these are also really epic. They came with metallic drop pods and then also this 10th anniversary Halo ODST in green that came with the really cool anniversary pack, all green figures, but this is my standout favorite one and one of my all time favorite ODSTs. 10 epic figures from the Halo Mega Bloks line. Or I kind of guess it was 11 in the end. We're gonna run down really quick my top 10 in order. Let's check it out. Starting at number 10, we've got the Spartan Recon. Just such a great figure from the Elephant, one of the first signature builds, what started it all, and just such a great collectible figure with amazing gold and silver highlights. At number nine, we've got this Elite General with just outrageous armor pieces. His helmet and his shoulders are so over-exaggerated and I absolutely love it. Then number eight, we have this Halo Fest Elite. One of the first figures to particularly resemble a specific game and this one just won my heart from the very beginning. It came in the same bags as a lot of other awesome figures but this one along with the yellow highlights on its arms just stole the show. Number seven on this list is a fan favorite, the Halo Reach Marine. Just such an underused figure for what it is. I mean, it only appeared in a couple of sets, yet it has some of the best paint apps that I've ever seen. I'm very proud to have a Marine in my top 10 figures. I cannot wait to see if they make a super articulation Halo Reach Marine. Well done, Chips. You made it. The sixth figure on our list is this insane elite honor guard in bright red. He's taken no prisoners and just that gummy look. Although gummy is not traditionally like the most detailed figure. I just love the mold. I love the color choice. And I think it was the most perfect figure to find in Bravo series. Coming in at number five is this red Hayabusa. Just the perfect way to show off those black washes that you can do that run all the way through the figure. Give it a lot of variety. And then those white shoulder pieces were amazing 
amazingly done. This red figure came in one of the greatest, if not the greatest set ever made. And just Hayabusa all day. I cannot wait for new articulation Hayabusa. Moving up the list to number four is this AC Brute Stalker. What more do I have to say about this figure? The way that the AC just perfectly blends through his body, the way they got a transparent chest and then painted the rest of his armor on, it's just so epic. And it's from my favorite game, Halo 3 ODST, with some great paint apps across his belt and other areas. I just love this half AC Stalker. And then it's on to figure number three, this epic Brute Chieftain, which just, it came with a pretty simple budget set, but just stood out to me as one of the greatest molds at the time. His armor is just so over the top and outrageous. And then those red highlights really make him pop. Bring on Halo Infinite Brute Chieftain. Coming closely in at number two is the very first named figure we ever got from Halo Mega Bloks, and we've never looked back is Spartan Cat from Halo Reach, one of the most beloved Halo games. She comes with a great level of paint apps. Her silver visor is great and they'd add a robot arm in the future. This was just a perfect introduction to what Mega Constructs could do when they started really naming figures, really going for very highly detailed, superposable articulation Halo heroes. And to crown off this list, my top figures ever are these two ODSTs. I think they make an amazing pair. The red and blue pop very nicely and just sort of complement the age old red versus blue of Halo multiplayer. ODSTs are by far my favorite characters and figures. These two are just so beautiful to me and they'll always be my top Halo Mega Bloks figures of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, my top 10 Halo Mega Bloks figures of all time in a crazy cool little diorama just showcasing just how epic they are. Where we have come from and how far we've come, you know. Halo Mega Bloks has evolved so much since I started collecting it way, way back when. And it's really what keeps me interested in the hobby. It's what keeps this community alive is just the ever-changing world of Halo. Thank you very much for tuning in today guys. This was another video with the domain. I hope you enjoyed yourselves today. Please do let me know in the comments what your top 10 figures are, if they were similar, if you think I'm wrong, if you think I'm right, whatever you want to say. Y'all have a great day out there and my two favorite figures are signing off. <laughs>